Okay, guys, listen up, please. So, now, we've got a massive cup tie today against Fram. Now, yes, they may be top of the Pepsi League, but if we can win today, then there's probably going to be no more Pepsi teams left in the cup, and that gives us an excellent chance of winning it and getting ourselves into Europe. So, everybody, get out there, grab a Coke, and let's go beat Pepsi. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain, and welcome back to Grindavik on the Impossible Dream. It is Season 2, Episode 3 today, and uh, we have a massive cup tie against Fram, who are top of the top flight, and then we play Magni, who are second in our division, as we try and uh, push towards uh, that promotion, hopefully, for next season. But... You can see here in the cup, really, really strange competition this year. Selfos, who was the top flight side, got beat. There are now three top flight sides. We play one of them. Uh, and then you can see, obviously, there's two others there. But uh, Califlik, uh, who IBK, who got promoted last year, and Grotta, who got promoted recently as well. So it's not like they're necessarily established... Uh, top flight sides at this point, certainly in game anyway. So if we can, and it's a big if to beat the best team in the country just now, but if we can... Well, then you've got to say we're every chance of going on and winning this. Because there could be no top flight sides left. It's, the way that it's going, you'd have to say, surely one of the other two will get knocked out as well. So, yeah, really, really strange and a big, big opportunity for us today if we can get the win. But before we get to that, there are some games to catch you up on. So let's do that now. The first in the league was against IBB. We fell behind in the second half. But Linton got a 90th minute equaliser before Hammer played in Jonsson to steal it in stoppage time. So, back from the dead in this one, it was, I mean, it was an even game, you can see from the XG, until they got their penalty, it was it was fairly even, uh, the game. We were lacking players, we had to play Adil Steinson, our defensive ball playing, uh, or defensive midfielder, as the, try that again, our ball playing defender as a defensive uh playmaker there and uh, Helgeson as well it was I think suspensions I think we had both uh both uh what's his face Sayas and Maya were both suspended for this one so that didn't help so all things being equal cracking result to be honest really really good to come back from uh, from one nil down in the 90th minute to win it that's <laughs> that's a little bit special isn't it next game was against uh Fol Folger Fol Folker I'm not quite sure how you say it Binaku found Moa to put us in front But Folgner pulled level in the second half. So we seem to be absolutely cruising this game. They kind of scored out of nowhere. And we just, you can see the XG second half just went flat. So I don't really understand what happened. Um, yeah, Osterman, we gave him a game up front. It continued to disappoint. So that is obviously disappointing. But ultimately, a draw away from home. It's disappointing, but it's it's always acceptable, I think. Our final game to catch you up on was against Paul. Oscarson and Jonsson gave us the lead on the break. Oscarson and Jonsson combined again for our second. Before Endongala found Jonsson to complete his hat trick. Before Jonsson got his fourth just before half time. Helgerson found Oskarsson's run to make it 5-0. But Paul pulled one back. And then got a second consolation goal in stoppage time. So we were absolutely brilliant in this one. We uh, we clocked off at 5-0, which if you're going to clock off is probably the time to do it. But Jonsson, hopefully he saved some goals and not got them all in here. Him and Oskarsson running the show in this one. Uh, yeah, and a couple of... Uh, a couple of new faces in just to freshen things up as well. Sayas and Maya came back in after having a week off. So yeah, it, it all worked out in the end and it was absolutely stunning from us. All right, let's have a look at the league table. And we can see it here, seven games played. We are two points off top, which is HK and a point behind Magni, who we play, of course, in our second game today. Now, Folgna, uh, they're only a point back and they have a game in hand against Vestry. So you'd imagine that they are every chance to win that. So possibly that puts us down into fourth, but we are very much in a promotion race this season and well long may that continue to be honest but let's have a look and see what we're doing here against Fram and we can see it here I just realized I had the editor thing up there so I've got rid of that uh, I'm not using the editor for this but I am doing other experiments so that's why the in-game editor thing was there uh, all right so we've got a 4-3-3 three, three. 
uh, expected from them and let's see what we are doing we're sending out the best team we can so Zivkovic in goal now Zivkovic you'll see there he has agreed to move away we knew he was leaving on a free transfer anyway so that's just sort of all been made official uh, it's been a coup it's Adele Steinson it's Magoma and Sheba is the back four Sayas Meyer and Litson in midfield and Dongala and Moa with Jonsson the goal machine of recent times up front and uh, well let's see if we can take the biggest scalp there is right now to take in Iceland all right, so we can see the team sheets there. Um, I don't recognize any internationals or anything there, but I could well be wrong. Uh, let's see, we put on a worthy display. I think we've just got to uh, ignore the praise, go out there, play your natural game, and just hope that uh, we, you know, we play well. It's uh, it's one of these, isn't it? This is a very, very tough fixture for us, but knowing you know who's left in the competition, I mean, it's it's. It's obviously our biggest hurdle, but it's also potentially, uh, you know, the last major hurdle, I suppose, that we might face. But uh, anyway, while waiting for the game to get underway, I do have to say a big thank you to a Patreon supporter, uh, Dave Mortram, who has increased his pledge. It's uh, massively appreciated that we do have a new goalkeeper as well, Morty Mortensen. Uh, we'll meet him at some point in the future, I'm sure. And oh, to wait. Uh, I, I never expect any support on Patreon, but it is greatly appreciated. So if you are able to and you enjoy the content, there's a link down in the description. Um, but like I say, it's not expected. Just keep watching the ads for me, and that is that is more than enough. But uh, yeah, Dave, massive thank you, mate. But back to tasks at hand, and we need to try and uh, see if we can get a lead here, ideally. My up gets it wide. Sheba making a nice little dart forward there. Can we find... No, we go back. We start again. That's fine. Probe away, boys. Magoma across to Adil Steinston. Or Sun. There's no T in there, is there? And we go again. It's a long highlight. Can we find that killer pass? Here we go with Jonsson. Oh, he's done it again. Victor Jonsson. He has found his feet at Grindavik. And that is an absolute stunner. In off the crossbar as well. And it's 1-0 in the fourth minute against the best team right now in Icelandic football. How has he done that? I did not think that was going to go in. Goalkeeper will probably have some questions to answer. It was a long way out. But it is a goal of the season contender. And suddenly Victor Jonsson is doing what we thought he was going to do last year and scoring for fun. Ball in. Oh, and that is just wide. That is just wide. I didn't see who it was, but... It was a clean contact as well. You wonder if that should have been ending up in the back of the net as well. Another corner. Litson to take. Can we get a two-goal lead going here? It's headed away. Moa will pick it up. Moa has it. Oh. And over the bar. And Victor Jonsson is now injured. Of course he is. Potential foot injury. No doubt he's had his foot ripped off and that's the end of his career. We'll bring Saskafong on. We finally get a striker that's scoring at the rate that we used to see Mbamba uh, whacking him in. And now he's injured. We've had 10 shots, two on target, which isn't ideal. We've dominating possession again, which we always seem to do. But let's see if we can make that possession count now with a second goal. Moa looking to get onto that. Ball forward again. Magoma should win most things coming towards him in the air. Here we go again. Sayas. Sayas looking for Saskafong. He's in. Saskafong. Oh, what a finish from Saskafong. A nice, deft little dink over the keeper. And it is 2-0. And are we about to take this scalp as well? But what about the finish? It was a nice ball forward here. Was it Sayas? Of course it is. He's a wonderful passer of the football over the defender. And look at that for a finish. He is a, a Thai international. And that was an international striker's finish. There is no doubt about that. And we've got another highlight now. 36th minute. Binaku. What can he do for us? Just don't do anything silly. Don't give him a way back into the game, boys. Maya. Back to Magoma. Sayas. Sayas looking for the run of Endongala. He's in here, is he? Endongala. Can he pull it back for Saskafong? He's a lot of defenders back there. We go for Shiba! And the goalkeeper this time does enough to keep it out. Let's just keep praising them. We are doing very, very well indeed here. Thank you very much. Can we get the halftime with our lead? We're about to enter first half stoppage time. Binaku wins the header. Moa. It's picked up though by... Oh, he's offside, isn't he? He's offside, ref. Surely he's offside. Flagsman's flag is up. And that is fine. 
he was quite comfortably offside, Danielson, there, wasn't he? Yeah. A good old Magoma's. <laughs> Magoma was tempting him, but in the end, it's just about enough. And that should be, and it is, the halftime score. 2 0 against top of the Pepsi League. Uh, we will continue to say, uh, 43 point of away. Don't let the complacency. Just keep playing the way you're playing. Um, just don't get complacent, boys. They're gonna. They, I mean, there's no doubt that they are getting a rocket up them right now. So we just need to make sure that we're ready for that, and we are able to to see off what will no doubt be a very hectic start to the second half from Fram. Because you look at it from their point of view. I mean, they're looking at it the same way we are, except we're not that big of a job for them to beat they're looking at us the second division side they'll be the last standing or potentially be the last standing premier league side or premiership side in the competition they're looking at this as an absolute give me of a trophy aren't they litson keeps possession but good ball for moa moa to saskafong and saskafong that's a bad miss oh so it's three nil you start to think it's it might be over but we're not there yet. Binaku with a cross in. Oh, it's a good header from was that Saskafong again. He is impressive on he when he's on, Saskafong is really quite impressive. He just needs to maybe work on finding the target, but of course he's off at the end of the season. So oh, is that an own goal? He's offside again. Well, that looked a little bit closer than the last one, but we don't get a replay of that one, unfortunately. We've had 15 shots. I wonder if we just want to work the ball into the box a little bit more here. Try and uh, have better quality shots at goal rather than just shots at goal. We'll demand a little bit more, but we're getting towards the latter stages of this game now. And with 12 minutes plus stoppages to play, and this isn't the World Cup, so we're not going to have 24 hours of stoppage time. We are starting to get to the point where you start to dream. Oh, it's intercepted by Litson. He's read that like a book. Maya, he's got Ndongala on the overlap. Is Saskafong in there? He is. So is Litson. It's tackled away. He could keep it in. He doesn't. Oh, that's an interesting pass back to the goalkeeper, putting him under all sorts of pressure. And we come forward again. Moa to Saskafong. I think he's off. I think he's off. He is off. Oh, you finished that one, mate. But the one that was a sit-up. And he's just gone early, hasn't he? Oh, it's closer than I thought it was, actually. Very, very unlucky. Ten minutes to play. Magoma wins that, as I say. He will win anything in the air coming his way at this level. Oh, and Saskafong almost played in. But here come Fran. Binaku gets back nicely. I mean, there are times defensively now we look quite good, isn't it? Here's Saskafong again! Saskafong makes it three and we are surely now going to be top of the top flight knock them out of the cup and is that Europe calling that I hear we'll praise them it's another good finish from Saskafong and well are we going to win a first major trophy in the club's history I think that if you are from the club you could correct me I think they won that league cup thing at the start of the season i think they won that once um but let's not call that a major trophy i mean not that i don't want to dismiss the achievement in real life but uh very good performance that from us look at those match ratings absolutely brilliant um i think we've got to say don't get complacent but uh wow what a performance that was so we can see there are still two premiership sides in grotta and ibk did both manage to win so not quite as good as i was hoping it to be so there we go, we win in the fourth round, we turn dominance into victory, and the Johnson injury is two to three weeks, so that could have been worse. You can see here, I'm just trying to get a couple of trialists in to have a look at some people, uh, I'll let you know if anything comes of that. But uh, wait right there, we will be facing Magni next, and if we can win that, I mean we could be on for a double here the way this is going. Okay, welcome back. Well, let's uh, try and bring ourselves back down to earth. And uh, we've got a game in the league to win. Now, we have got our quarterfinal draw. It is IBV that we're going to be facing. Um, so it could have been better, could have been worse, I suppose. It's it's arguably outside of this uh, non-league side, the, the best we could have hoped for. And unfortunately, the two Premier League sides have avoided each other. But 
yeah, well, we'll just we'll just beat who we have to beat, hopefully. So there we go. That is that, and we do have a signing to uh, to announce as well. Now the transfer window opens again on July first, and joining us at that stage will be uh, Nguyen Quan Hai. Um, he is a Vietnamese international. He's going to be on one hundred and ten pounds a week. That is an absolute steal, let me tell you, because when we have a look at him here, he is very very decent. He's basically coming in to replace Litson. Uh, he's going to be playing in this position, though, of course. Uh, uh, Litson, of course, 36 now on big money, you know, for, for the club. Uh, so unless he's going to reduce his wage earning uh, askings uh, quite a bit, he's going to have to leave. And this guy can come straight in. He's got uh, good free kick taking and good penalty taking as well. So we should be able to come in and take over that from Litson as well. And if we go and have a quick look at his career to date, we can see he has never played. We had uh, a little bit of time in France. Uh, he didn't actually play in France, but he was at a club, and he's mostly just played in the Vietnamese League, which is where you'd expect him to play, to be honest. So it's a little, maybe a little bit of a risk, but we'll see how he gets on. And, you know, you can never have too many internationals at your team, can you? 59 caps, 10 goals for Vietnam. So let's hope he does well. And we've hit a major milestone in the episode, in the series, I should say, as well. And that is, we're a million pounds in depth. So well done, everybody. That's a huge milestone. That would be broken. Um, yeah, we truly are in a terrible, terrible financial state. But anyway, let's go and have a look here and see what we're doing against Magni. We're expecting a Diamond 442. I suppose you could call that, among other things. This is the team that we are sending out. Sivkovic in goal, Binicu, Adelt, Steinson, Antonsen comes in for Magoma. You can see we've got a few tied players after that. Antonsen is as close as we have to Magoma in the squad, so hopefully he'll do a good job. Shebet will play it right back. Maya goes back in. He's not, probably not going to be a deep-lying playmaker, though. Let's go ball-winning midfielder. Uh, with uh, Helgeson and Litson in midfield, and Dongala and Moa, Saskafong will go up front, and uh, let's hope we can get another big result here on the board. Okay, so we can see the team sheets in. Now, this Ryan Innes, I'm pretty sure he is uh, Trinidad and Tobago, and he is a little bit of a Magoma, so that could be a problem. Mohamed Silla, we've uh, seen him before. Of course, we faced this team uh, in the Cup, you may remember, very early on. I think it went all the way to penalties, so hopefully... It'll be a little bit better here. Uh, let's just go out there, relax, and enjoy ourselves again. We've got Sitkovic looking happy again now. Maya is looking motivated. Saskafong, just pick up where you left off, please, mate. And out we go. And yeah, I mean, that recent form looks good, doesn't it? Uh, it is getting to the point. The thing with the finances at this point is that I kind of don't think we can save it. Like, there's no point trying to cut the wage bill. Not because we shouldn't. I mean, I tried to uh, offer some mutual terminations to guys that we just don't want, and they were just refusing, which is fair enough, to be honest. We, they, I offered them the contract. It's on me that uh, I'm not using them. But, yeah, I mean, you know, two grand a week here or there. I mean, ultimately, it, I mean, the interest on that debt's going to be more than that, isn't it? So I'm not quite sure how we get out of it unless we suddenly get a million pound bid in for one of our players, which... Maybe Adel Steitzen is a good ball-playing uh, centre-back. Here we go. Saskafong! Oh, and it's another early goal. It's Saskafong seventh. And it is 1-0. And that is uh, possibly going to put us temporarily, anyway, at the top of the league. Binaku involved again. Moa, crossfield ball. Helgerson first time. What a well-weighted pass that was. Saskafong in. It took a deflection off the defender. And uh, that helped it beat the keeper, to be honest. But that's okay. We'll give them some praise, and if we can defend properly now, it's all going to be happy days. Ball in. It's a good ball in, and Zivkovic just sees it over the top. Uh, we are second in the league right now, it looks like. HK must have uh, also taken the lead. Adel Steinson on a booking, not ideal. Now, he is tied when maybe not going to get 90 minutes out of him. Ideally, uh, we'll be a couple of goals up and we can rest him, and I think I've got Gunnarsson on the bench who was uh, one of our main defenders last season, of course. Zivkovic a long way from goal. Uh, my plan, I think, well, I mean, we knew Zivkovic was leaving, and of course we've got that low knee. That's a cracking ball for Helgerson. Helgerson for Endongala. Oh, and it's tackled away. And the goalkeeper prevents the own goal. Litson over the corner. We've got Antonsen at the near post. We go back post instead, and it is flicked away for another corner. Let's give him some praise. This is good pressure. Can Litzen find a fellow Grindavik head here? We are at home, of course, so it's the sort of game you do want to try and win. Maya! Oh, and that's deflected over as well. What a spell of pressure. What a hit that was from Maya as well. That was not uh, that was not missed, that ball, was it? 
Lipton over a free kick. Another ball in. Again, it's headed away. Helgerson is there. Gets it wide for Adel Steinston. Across for Litson. 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 Oh, and the goalkeeper makes a save. We're getting shots on target here, aren't we? But what we can't get is the ball in the back of the net. Litson again. Again, it's in there. Again, it's headed away. And that will end the highlight. Here we go again. Sheba. We are exploiting the flanks given that they're facing, uh, they're, they're sort of playing narrow. I tend to exploit the flanks now anyway, to be honest, given that that's where Moa and Endongala are, and Moa just didn't get enough on that finish. But, I mean, you get the feeling a second goal here, and they, they might fall to pieces because we are all over them just now. Moa to Saskafong, if he's onside, it's a goal, and it looks as though he's onside. It is a second goal of the game for him. And, uh, well, that's good. We're not missing Jonsson as things, uh, as things stand. And uh, of all those uh, trial lists I got in, and I've got a friendly scheduled after this game, uh, what I'm going to do is anybody who's not registered in the squad or is maybe registered but not playing that much, I'm going to play all of those guys in a friendly and just get a look at the trial list. There are a couple of strikers in there. We know Saskafong is leaving. Uh, Osterman has just not worked out as things stand, and he's on the bench for this one. So if we can get a decent lead, we might bring him on. It's been a coup. It's back there for Endongala. I tell you what, there was some uh, some volleys in that one, wasn't there? But uh, the match momentum is all our way. What we don't want is 2-1, and that's not, thankfully, what's going to happen on this occasion. Uh, we do have Oscarson on the bench as well. I'm thinking Oscarson, Ostman, and uh, probably we'll have to take Adel Steinson off will be the subs that we make in this one. Uh, let's point our finger. Let's say, uh, don't let your performance levels drop. Everybody seems to have liked that. We'll fist pump and say we've got faith. And we haven't had many six-point episodes, have we? Are we going to be on for one here? Now I've said that, almost certainly not. And Dongala is not having his best day. Of course, the longer that this cup run goes on, the issue we're going to have is, is just fatigue of our more important players, let's say. Saskafong to Litson. Litson back in there, and it is Binaku pops up on the penalty spot. You're a left back, mate. What are you doing there? But it doesn't matter. It's 3-0 in the just before the hour mark. So they, we've pushed the we pushed it right in, it looks like. Really compacted things. And Binaku's just unmarked on the penalty spot. And it's gone straight through the goalkeeper as well. So we'll give him some praise. We will probably start to make some of those subs that I wanted to make. Oh, that is a red card. He's already on a yellow, but that's a straight red. So we will now, with a man advantage, make some of these changes. I don't want to take Saskafong off, given that he's on a hat trick. Uh, he's maybe not the most important player to rest. Gunnarsson, by the way, not a ball player, but he's stretch. We'll put you on the cover. Uh, yeah, we'll get Oscarson on for Endongala, who's not having a great day anyway. And then it's whether we bring Ostman on or whether we bring uh, give Binaku a rest at left back. Uh, we've got a little bit of time before we need to probably make that decision. Uh, who is the time? I'm thinking, you know what? Saskafong, uh, Binaku's on a booking as well. So we'll make that change. And then I think that's it. It's three subs, isn't it? Yeah. But, uh, well, this is this is going very, very nicely indeed now. If we can keep a clean sheet, that would be even nicer. Litson throwing himself about in midfield. You're an old man, mate. Watch out for your back doing that. You're going to hurt yourself. And of course, he had that bad hip injury as well, didn't he, Litson? If we do have the option to keep him, I know that I'd signed his replacement. I would like to still keep him, even if he is 36. It's the wage, you know, almost 700 pounds a week. Um, we've signed their replacement, essentially, for, what, a sixth of that. So... If he wants to lower his wage demands down to £100 a week, I'm happy, <laughs> happy to keep him. Uh, otherwise, he he's going to struggle, to be honest, to stay at the club. Now, we don't want a goal to go in here. Oh, it has. Zivkovic, it's the last kick of the game, and he's lost his clean sheet. You know what, Zivkovic? Financially responsible. I'm sure that you were on uh, a clean sheet bonus. So what he's done there is, sensibly, given the state of the club, it's just taking everybody's clean sheet bonus off the table. He'll want that back. <laughs> That being said, he will want that back 100%. So with 10 men, they've pulled one back, but it doesn't matter. It's 3-1. The job was already done. Saskafong at the double. And uh, who got the other? I forget who got the other. Oh, it was, uh, was Binaku, wasn't it? 
popping up with a goal in the penalty spot. So well done, boys. Excellent work. And on we go. So that moves us into the promotion places, albeit, as I say, Folgna uh, do have a game in hand against Vestry, which you would fancy them to win. But we'll take that. As long as we finish top three this year, of course, I should get my contract renewed. But ultimately, we want we want we need to go up this season. So there we go. We have uh, been pushed into the promotion hunt. Gunnarsson looking to move on. That's their manager, isn't it? Uh, a report on uh, on Saskafong, eight games unbeaten. This is a club record run that we're on currently as well. So it's all going very, very nicely indeed. But guys, that will do it for today. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. We'll be back as long as this cup run is going. We'll be here for it. Uh, so we're going to have to come straight back, aren't we? So let's not... Let's come back for the cup run and then this team away from home in the league. They're currently bottom. It's a game we should be winning. Uh, but ultimately... We've got to win this cup game. We've got a week between those games too. So it looks as though the schedule is maybe starting to level out a little bit for us in terms of having, see here, we had a Thursday, then Sunday. I mean, this is basically, we get a week off in between. It's holiday time, isn't it? All right, guys, that's it. Thumbs up, subscribe. See you next time.